Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Rathinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about matrix operations. You can see the agenda here. The first matrix operation, matrix addition. In order to add a two matrix R, the rule is both matrix must be in same dimension. What do you mean by same dimension? The both matrix must have same number of rows and columns. Let's see with an example. We have a two matrix A and B. The first matrix dimension is 3 cross 3 and second matrix dimension is also 3 cross 3. We can apply addition rule if both these dimensions are same. If we add this A plus B matrix, then we have to add the elements wise 10 plus 6, 7 plus 4, 11 plus 1, like that. A plus B equal to 10 plus 6, 7 plus 4, 11 plus 1. Element wise, then 8 plus 7 that is this one then 6 plus 10 then 20 plus 3 9 plus 2 5 plus 15 then 12 plus 7 so we have to add element by element final matrix a plus b equal to when you add, you will get 16, 11, 12, 15, 16, 23, 11, 20, 19 and it is a 3 cross 3. If we want to add a 2 matrix, the first rule is both the matrix must be in same dimension. The next step is when we add matrix A and matrix B, just add element wise from both the matrix. Hope you understood how to implement the matrix addition. Same way, the next one is matrix subtraction A minus B. For this also, same rule, it must be of same dimension. Here, same example A minus B I am going to implement. Here, it is very simple. Instead of plus you have to make it minus so 10 minus 6 7 minus 4 11 minus 1 8 minus 7 6 minus 10 20 minus 3 9 minus 2 5 minus 15 then 12 minus 7 it's a 3 cross 3 therefore a minus b equal to 4, 3, 10, 1, minus 4, 17, 7, minus 10, 5, 3 cross 3. It is very easy to understand. For matrix addition, just add the elements of two matrix. For matrix subtraction, just subtract the elements of two matrix and the rule is we can do both matrix addition and subtraction only if both of them in the same dimension. A small exercise we have to perform the matrix addition. What is the value of A plus B here? So for the first one we have to write down its dimension. What is the dimension for this matrix? It is 2 cross 2 and second matrix it is 3 cross 3. Both these dimensions are not equal. It means we can't add these two matrix. That is 2 cross 2 is not equal to 3 cross 3. Therefore, not possible to add as the dimension or order not same. The next topic is properties of matrix addition. 
the first property commutative law what is commutative law when a plus b will be equal to b plus a if you add in any order the output going to be same we are going to reuse the same example we already know what is an output for a plus b now we will try to do b plus a then we will cross verify whether the output is same for both the condition therefore b plus a equal to 6 plus 10 in this direction 4 plus 7 1 plus 11 so element wise i have added let's see the final output 16 11 12 15 16 23 11 20 19 and it's a 3 cross 3 b plus a so just copy pasted the above result now if you compare both the result a plus b will be equal to b plus a just see each element the output is same and this is called the commutative law this is the first law hope you understood well the next law is associative law what is associative law a plus b plus c will be equal to a plus b plus c that is if you add three matrix in any order the output will remain the same we will see a sample example so we have a three matrix a b and c all the three having the same order or dimensions of a matrix now lhs that is a plus b plus c let's add it we are trying to add a plus b plus c you can see the b plus c within a bracket which is equal to we know we have to add element y 6 plus 1 7 plus 0 like that i am adding it directly let me put the output so 6 plus 1 equal to 7 then 7 plus 0 equal to 7 then 5 plus 6 equal to 11 then 10 plus 11 equal to 21 so this is the output for these two matrix now the same rule i am applying here when you add these two matrix so the first one is 1 plus 7 it is 8 then 7 plus 7 14 8 plus 11 19 5 plus 21 26 2 cross 2 so we know lhs the next step is rhs rhs we are going to add a plus b together then the final output will be added to c so direct element wise addition 1 plus 6 it is 7 7 plus 7 it is 14 8 8 plus 5 13 5 plus 10 15 and it will be added to matrix c once again element wise operation 7 plus 1 8 14 plus 0 14 13 plus 6 it is 19 15 plus 11 it is 26 so when you compare this is the lhs and this is the rhs lhs equal to rhs the associative law is proved now the third property additive identity additive identity means to a matrix a if you add a null matrix or zero matrix the output will be a in the previous video we have seen what is null matrix it will be represented by big o when you add with a zero matrix 
the output will remain the same. We will see a simple example. 2 matrix, A matrix and null matrix. I am going to add both. What will be the output? If I add element wise, it going to remain the same to cross 2 which is equal to A. Hence, we proved LHS equal to RHS. Whenever you add a null matrix or zero matrix to any matrix, there is no change in the output. Last rule, additive inverse. Additive inverse means when you subtract a matrix with its own matrix, that is A minus A, then the output will be a null matrix. Let's prove A minus A. I'm just subtracting the matrix with its own matrix. So element wise subtraction 7 minus 2, 2 minus 2, 5 minus 5, 9 minus 9. That is 5 minus 5, 9 minus 9. When we do element wise subtraction, the output will be equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, which is nothing but a big O. Therefore, A minus A will be equal to a big O. And this is called additive inverse. Let's do a short recap. Totally we have four properties. First one is commutative law. That is when we add two matrix, the output will remain the same. That is A plus B equal to B plus A. And uh, second property associative law. When we add three matrix in any combination, the output will remain the same. Then the third property is additive identity. When you add a null matrix to any matrix, the output remains the same. Then the final one is additive inverse. When you subtract a matrix by its own matrix, the output will be a null matrix. Hope you got a clear picture about how to add the matrix, how to subtract the matrix and these four properties. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.